Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at why is there an iPhone in this 1937 painting? We all know the Apple iPhone was released in 2007 by Steve Jobs. But in one painting from seven decades ago, there appears to be an iPhone in the painting. Today we're going to look at that and also some other instances of futuristic technology in old paintings. But first, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. So, first off, what is this painting? Well, the painting's name is Mr. Pynchon and the Settling of Springfield. It predates the iPhone by seven decades, being completed in 1937. It was painted by an Italian abstract painter named Umberto Romano, and the painting is actually two New England tribes settling. These two tribes are called Nipmuc and Pecumtuck. The painting is of the tribes people settling in the 1630s. Of course, the 1630s were around 200 years before the advent of electricity. So, why is there this mystery in the lower right quadrant of this image? As you can see, there appears to be a man holding a small black device at eye level. But what is he doing? Taking a Snapchat? Scrolling through YouTube? Well, sadly the artist passed on in 1982, so we can't ask him. But there are some theories as to what this thing could actually be. First off, some say it was some kind of prediction or message about the iPhone coming in the future. But I think that's quite unlikely to be honest. This definitely was not a regular phone, as the first mobile phone was actually released in 1973. This was three decades after the painting came out. It really does seem uncannily like an iPhone, there's even what looks to be a headphone jack. But one historian did actually look at this painting and try and come up with an explanation. He said this was likely supposed to be very ambiguous and mysterious. Remember, the painter Umberto Romano was called a semi-abstract artist. This may mean he was trying to be willfully ambiguous when drawing this mysterious black object. Others say he may actually be holding a pocket-sized edition of a religious text. These did exist at the time and were roughly the same rectangular shape. And another Native American historian has said this was likely somebody holding an iron blade. Iron blades were very popular items in the 1600s, so this could make some sense. Something like this iron blade could have been fastened to a handle to make an axe or a tomahawk. But what do you think this is? Was the painter just trying to be weird and abstract? Is it some kind of iron blade? Is it a prayer book? Or is it actually an iPhone and this was a warning about the future? Personally, I'm not sure and I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. But I'm sure we can all agree there's probably a non-magical explanation for that image. It's likely not an iPhone and the artist wasn't a time traveller. But how do you explain this next photo? Take a look at this incredibly famous painting, Madonna and the Child with the Infant Saint John the Baptist. This painting hangs in the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence, Italy. It was painted by likely the most famous painter in history, Leonardo da Vinci. The exact year it was painted is not known, but it's said to be from the late 1470s. And many say it's a hidden warning from da Vinci of aliens. That's because look behind Madonna and you can see two things that look like UFOs. One of them appears to be a dish, saucer shaped UFO we're used to seeing. And it also appears to have rays, emitting some kind of light. And the other one appears to be some kind of tentacled beast in the air. But what are these things? And more to the point, are they aliens or UFOs? Well, the short and sad answer is probably not. Art experts say these are actually more likely to be angels. Today, we may think of angels taking the form of some kind of human, but a while back they were not thought of in this way. Artists in the past did not adhere to how we see things in the modern day. When we think of an angel, we may imagine a blonde woman with wings. But that is not how people hundreds of years saw things, and instead they imagined them as other beings. But now it's time to look at the oldest work of art on this list, and it's also the most mysterious. It was found a few years ago in what was the ancient city of Abydos. Etched onto an ancient Egyptian temple is something which resembles a helicopter. These unique ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs are said to be one of the strongest pieces of evidence of alien life. There seems to be an unmistakable modern day helicopter, boat and flying ship of some sort. But how could the ancient Egyptians have any idea about what our vehicles would look like today? Some say an advanced alien civilization made these carvings. Maybe if it was just one helicopter, one boat, or one ship, then that would be just a coincidence. But the fact they carved three of our most common transportation types today is very, very weird. 
Many say this is not a coincidence and is a sign of alien life that was once on Earth. But what do you think? Are these hieroglyphs something else or is it really a sign of alien life? Vote in the poll in the top right corner whether you think any of these are signs of alien life or not. For me, I'm not sure about the first two paintings, but I'm convinced with the hieroglyphs. If you guys want some more amazing videos, then why not check out my second channel? There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.